Over the years, aviation has progressed from wind-in-the-wires to fly-by-wire. Whether you're flying to get somewhere either as a passenger or a flight crew, or you just fly because it's fun, flight is a trusted, routine, and a very safe means of transportation. Many of the technical and operational problems have been solved, but there are still some of them out there. Some of them are pretty basic and have been with us since the days of the silver dart. Others are emerging as technology offers us new and better ways of doing things. But in general, aviation safety, or aviation risk management, is fundamental. Identify a hazard, determine what sort of risk it imposes, and then decide what, if anything, you will do about it. Now, you might not feel it's something you can personally do much about. Most of us are not in a position to change a regulation, build a new engine, change an aircraft design, or develop a new procedure. Even though you may build your own airplane, you'll have to work with an aeronautical system that will impose some constraints. You can, however, talk to the people who have the responsibility to get things done. In East Transport Canada region, there is an aviation safety office with a regional aviation safety officer whose role is to gather information about potential aviation safety, hazards yeah. and to identify solutions. Whether you're a pilot, controller, maintainer, airport ramp worker, or passenger, if you think you have identified a hazard, tell your regional aviation safety officer. They're trained individuals who have a specialized background in aviation safety and, like all of us, have a passion for flying. These individuals are easy to get a hold of. You can either call them or visit them personally at your local Transport Canada office. You can also drop them a note by mail, fax, or email. Many of you are already familiar with your regional aviation safety officers through the regular scheduled information seminars they conduct. Another safety reporting option is the Transportation Safety Board of Canada, an agency that reports directly to Parliament. The TSB has established a totally confidential reporting system called Securitas. And you can use Securitas to ensure that your safety concerns or questions are brought directly to the attention of the right people. And speaking of people, there's still the most important safety factor in aviation. It's people who design and assemble aircraft, develop and implement air navigation systems and regulations, service and maintain aircraft and airports, and ultimately who pilot the aircraft. Although they have very specialized tasks to perform and responsibilities to fulfill, they're mostly average people doing their job to the best of their abilities. Because they are people, that means that they're subject to the same sorts of failings that occasionally afflict all of us. Frustration, impatience, forgetfulness, complacency, and a variety of external pressures can contribute to a reduction in overall safety. Whatever role that we individually play in aviation, from controller to airline captain, from passenger to recreational pilot, we always have to be aware that we can also be subject to these failings. Simple things like filing a flight plan or an itinerary can mean the difference between waiting for three or four days in the bush while search and rescue hunt for you or being rescued quickly following a forced landing. We may be in a hurry, but it really doesn't take much time to do a thorough pre-flight check. And if you notice a maintenance problem or suspect that a dangerous situation exists, bring it to the attention of a flight crew member or maintenance personnel. Don't assume that someone else will take care of the problem. Remember that each one of us is a vital link in the safety chain and that all of us share responsibility for aviation safety. Aviation is incredibly safe. Risk managers in all segments of the industry do a great job in identifying hazards, assessing the risks they impose, and then adopting measures to reduce or control that risk. We hope you look at your own participation in aviation to see where you can eliminate the risk in your own flying activities so that you can make it through the overcast to a lifetime a long lifetime of safe landings. I'm Mike Dwaron.